Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll guide you through the installation of FaceSwap Lab, an amazing extension for stable diffusion that allows you to seamlessly swap faces in your images. While the official documentation provides steps for installation, many users have reported issues with these instructions. But don't worry, we've got a solution for you. To fix the issue, installation is a bit different. And the first step is to close the stable diffusion server. If it is already running. Now follow the steps as mentioned in the installation guide. <clears throat> First, open the folder where you have installed the stable diffusion web UI. I would recommend you try it in a new instance. So the First step is navigate to the extensions folder within a stable diffusion web UI in the address bar type CMD and press enter. Here we will clone the repository of FaceSwap Lab. Copy this command, git clone, paste, and press enter. Once the repository is cloned, type cd dot dot to go into the root directory. Now we need to activate the virtual environment. Virtual environment is activated. Now the next step is we need to download in this. So we will download the wheel, pre-built wheel. For that, we need the Python version. So this is the command Python hyphen hyphen version. You can paste this command in command prompt and see. So I have Python 3.10.x. So I will use this link. So open this link in the browser. And save this file on your local disk. Now the next step is to install the requirements. So copy the first command. And paste it in the command prompt and press enter. Let's wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is complete, next we need to install the ins for which we downloaded the pre-built wheel. So the command is pip install and we have to provide the path of the downloaded file wheel file. So navigate to the folder where you have downloaded. Just right click and select copy as path. Now go to the command prompt and type pip install space and then paste the path. So while the installation is in progress, we can complete the next step where we have to download one of the model. So open this link in the browser. And we need to download this in stable diffusion web UI models face swap lab. So copy this name face swap lab. Navigate to the stable diffusion web UI folder, locate the model models folder and create a new folder. Paste swap lab. Now copy this path. Here we will download the model. So click on the download button and save the file. Now that the file is downloaded and installation is also complete, it's time to close the command prompt and launch the server again. So navigate to stable division web UI folder and double click on web UI hyphen user dot bat file. Once the server is up and running, it will automatically launch the URL in the browser. So as we can see in the interface, now we can see face web lab tab. So click on this tab and you should be able to see the options. Use this plugin. So basically I have generated one image. Now we have a tab, face web lab. So let's click on this. So we have to select here the reference image. So I will select one reference image, maybe this one. And then I don't have any trained face checkpoints. So I will select none here or we can leave it empty. 
Now select this enable button and rest of the settings we will leave as it is. There is one important setting under global post processing. So if you want to restore the faces, you can select one of these code former or GFP game. For this demo, I will leave the rest of the settings as default and then click on generate. For comparison purpose, let me put these images in MS Paint so that we can compare the changes. So the processing is complete. Let's compare the changes. So this was the original image that was generated. And then this is the reference image. As we can see, eyes, face, lips. Yeah. So it is working. Fine. Maybe we can try with another image as well. Let me choose something else and then click on generate. So the resulting image is not so good, but yeah, we do see that the plugin is working. Well, thank you.